There have been many big announcements here at the Farmer International Air Show 2022, and one company that just announced their big news is Reaction Engines. And to tell us more, I've got their CEO, Mark Thomas. First of all, it's great to see you here, and it's nice that you've had this big announcement. Tell us more. Great. No, I'm really delighted that we've been able to announce today Project HVX, which is our hypersonic air vehicle experimental program. We're working in partnership with the RAF, with Rolls-Royce and DSTL. And you've got this rather wonderful concept behind us here. Tell us a bit more about the project. Yeah, sure. So basically we're planning to put a reusable uh, system together that demonstrates hypersonic technology. So that's uh, a really real strategic imperative. Uh, basically things that go extremely fast. That requires us to develop a new type of propulsion system that can operate at very high speeds and very high temperatures, uh, build a vehicle around that and demonstrate it as rapidly as possible. And the, the key to this really is it's reusable. So rather than deploying what it has to and not, not returning, this is going to return to be reused. Absolutely. No, it's a first of its type, really. So we, we believe, don't believe we're the only uh, uh, nation in the world that's developing a reusable hypersonic capability. We aim to get there first. We put, brought this fantastic team together, blends our uh, innovative uh, technology uh, folks with, uh, you know, who are re really able to do things with pace and energy, with the experience uh, of Rolls-Royce, with their research and development culture and their long heritage in, in jet engines. And when we look at the, the picture behind, we see a roadmap of what you've got planned moving forward, and it's quite an exciting path you have. Yeah, so we've been very good over the years at developing technology once and using it many times. And from this one platform, we can see a multitude of uses of our technology and evolution of those systems going forward. So as an example, this is a hypersonic air vehicle demonstrator designed to operate in the air, ultimately one day become an air vehicle. But an extension from that could be a responsive space launcher. So that's pretty exciting. It certainly is. Sustainability in the future is so important, isn't it? And, and for companies like you, how has what we're, we're, we're struggling to achieve, should we say, in aviation in the future, how has that shaped what you do right now? Well, we're really excited to be part of the sustainable aviation revolution. You know, it's really important to me, to everyone in my business, and our technology is a great fit. So I'll stand here in Hall 1, you'll see evidence of the technology we're taking from space origin into other markets and other sectors. So zero emissions aviation, cleaner energy, electric vehicles, all made possible by the really creative and innovative space technology that we've developed. And what's pretty impressive about your company is you're a relatively small private company as opposed to one of these humongous great uh, organisations. Yeah, yeah, so real, real privilege to be leading a, a private British technology business of around two, yeah, just over 200 people. And it means we have a great freedom to operate. We can, we can work with real pace. You know, the demographics of the business are that we've got quite a young workforce, who, you know, who uh, you know, employees, average age is 30. So, so they really are in the, you know, want to go and change the world and make a difference and leave, leave a powerful legacy. And there's so much we can do with that potential. So. How important is it for you to have this, this sort of younger workforce coming through? I mean, you need to have the old heads on the, on the shoulders as well, but you know, you're able to recruit some of the youngest, finest minds around. Yeah, we, we, we have an ability to attract the best of the best in terms of talent into the business because we're doing really hard stuff. You know, that's very forward looking, very future looking and, and uh, you know, game changing in its nature. But the trick is, is blending you know, that uh, experience, as you said, the experienced heads with the young energy and high potential. And I think we do that pretty well. We, we've created a very special blend in reaction engines.